Hey there, one up in here coming with another basics video tutorial where I will uh, destroy all the hopes of actually having a pretty sweet transition from GML into GML Visual, former known as DND. So what am I talking about? So let's just say, hey, you have a project from somewhere and you're saying like, mm, nah, I actually prefer the GML Visual thing, the one with the icons and all that stuff. And I got those projects and I want to convert them to, well, my style of coding. Yeah, so this is a little bit one-sided. So if you want to know why that is and why the magic isn't working in this direction, well, stick around. This is one up Indie. I am a developer. So if you like what you're seeing and hearing, of course, well, what, then why don't you consider sharing, liking and subscribing to the channel, of course. Alrighty, so for a quick thing, so let's say you have, you are, um, well, the majority, because majority, I consider that for the people who are actually using that a little bit, uh, well, in an advanced terms, so basically most people and most video tutorials will be in GML. So basically a regular scripting language of, of their own. And then I guess most channels actually use that one here. And of course, um, there is the second one, the script language which is called gml visual why visual because you got those buttons then you can just drag and drop and then create your uh, thing here if you like so basically this is possible and of course as you can see uh, both versions are actually um, applying here so this is kind of a neat thing so you can go hybrid or full hybrid if you like so what do i mean by that so let's say you have a project and you say like mm, it's in dnd but I want to jump uh, in my evolution <laughs> in quotations and uh, convert it to GML. This is possible. So for example, there's a live preview. And this is how it would look like. Uh -huh. And then if you like how that goes, you can just go convert to GML and boom, it says like, hey, this is a one-sided thing. And boom, this is what you get. Basically what the uh, preview did here. This is kind of really garbage code, but never mind me. <laughs> uh, this is the way it goes. But for example, then you can just say like, convert to DND. One up Indie, have you been lying to me? Is this a two way thing? So you can convert it under uh, on flip flopping uh, each time the way you like it. Uh, so let's see how that actually looks like. And then you see, huh? <laughs> Where are the buttons? Where are the icons? Well the conversion from well, the regular scripting language, so GML, into the visual one looks like this. So basically this is just saying like, yeah, we go uh, uh, hybrid and then after that you can, I don't know, do the regular stuff which you would be doing um, on, well, the visual tool. So once again, this is working, of course, but um, not, I guess, what you would be expecting. And this is a little let letdown if you are, for example, a beginner and you are uh, saying like, hey, I just use the visual scripting tool. I prefer that, this is better for me. And then most of the video tutorials and uh, programs and example programs most likely be in just GML. So basically the regular scripting language, which you see here. And then you would be just saying like, Haha, I just copied that stuff and then convert it to my uh, specific style. So once again, not happening and I don't see that happening because first of all of complexities and second of all I haven't heard any plans to do so. Maybe it will come but um, well, if they haven't done it already uh, your guess is as good as mine so once again I don't know. And for example just one quick thing so let's say you're creating a new let's say I don't know draw event or whatever oh. <laughs> a new mouse event or whatever then everything is still in GML, but let's say you want to change that, so you just go under game options and then use DND as a default script type. So basically, every time you have a new event, then boom, it will be converted to that. So, once again, these are your options. So, one sided from DND back to GML is pretty fluent, it's actually easy, but I would say most likely you want it the other way around because most projects are in the regular GML and you want to convert it to. Mr. DND, now called GML Visual. So, once again, that was it pretty much for 
um, the conversion. So this is actually all you what you need to know. And, and this is the, the current stand as it is. Already, hopefully that was a useful or completely useless information for you. <laughs> See you in the next one. Have a good one. One up indie.